Okay, uh, next question from YouTube from Matt. Any updates on the EMI license? Is mm. there a rough timeline? Yeah, okay, so um, just to make sure that everybody understands what EMI is, uh, uh, EMI is Electronic Money Institute. So this is the sort of licenses the companies like PayPal uh, has. Essentially, it's it's like a banking license, only it's not a banking license because you, you can't give uh, loans, uh, et cetera. But what it means is that you can create e-money. So you can think of it like a, maybe like a crypto wallet where you have fiat balances as well, and you can use it to uh, um, update balances, send fiat around, uh, um, et, et cetera. Uh, so we've been, so obviously it's a serious license, not easy to, to come by with, uh, highly regulated, uh, and, and we've worked pretty hard uh, for more than a year um, to, to be at this point where it's now probably a matter of, of weeks or, 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 or just a few months before we uh, have an EMI license. We're going to have it in Singapore. Uh, it has a global appeal, but we're going to have it from, from Singapore. And uh, when that will be available, it opens up um, a lot of options uh, for for Cody from um, how the wallet is used, what can be done with the wallet, um, what can be issued on the trust chain, for instance, uh, maybe stable coins that that can be regulated and, and work uh, globally. So a lot of things is going to have come with the with the EMI. Uh, we're closer today than than we were yesterday, uh, much closer than than what we were a year ago. Um, if there was a risk of maybe we'll get it, maybe we won't. I think that right now we're at the point where I can say we will get it. Um, now it's not really up to us. Regulators will be regulators and will work at their own pace, especially around uh, COVID times. But uh, I would say a few weeks, maybe a few months. Okay. Now, so you mentioned Singapore is where yes it will be based or. Why that region in particular versus Switzerland uh, or some other? Well, well, so Singapore is, is a global financial hub. Uh, mm -hmm. You want to have licenses if you can in, in Singapore and, and the opportunity has presented itself there. Uh, Singapore is also, also is, is very advanced when it comes to cryptocurrencies. Uh, so you don't want to have an EMI license in the place and, and be a cryptocurrency company uh, in a place that doesn't understand that because you will never get a license. Uh, so we need a place that um, that understands Standard. both both worlds. Um, it will also come with a unique cryptocurrency exchange license, but I'll, I'll talk about that more once we once we get it. All right. 